My Ether wallet and its users just fell victim to a sophisticated attack that involved hijacking the website's domain name service. According to a post on Reddit, people using Google's public DNS servers were getting the wrong IP address for the Mew website. Instead of going to the usual CloudFront content distribution network address, visitors were sent to a Russian IP address running a web server. When they navigated to the site, they were met with something that mimicked Mew, prompting them to provide their private keys for their wallets. The hacker's address was found labeled fake. Phishing 899 by Etherscan, a service that allows people to pull up addresses on the Ethereum blockchain and find information on their transactions. A total of 180 transactions took place at the address, including a cash out of 215 Ether, till the $150,000 that eventually spread to several other addresses. It's possible that all the money has been laundered through another cryptocurrency already. Users on Reddit replying to the thread suggested using an offline version of the site or downloading Mew and Parity from GitHub to run a full node. Both of these measures, however, are preventative. There is no way for the current victims to reclaim their losses. This advanced form of phishing caught more than a hundred people off guard, dwarfing events in the past involving the website. In another phishing attack in October of last year, hackers made off with $15,000 in Ether as a result of an email-based non-targeted phishing campaign within two hours. But as far as the current attack is concerned, it could have easily been prevented by looking at the address bar for a green lock with My Ether Wallet Inc. US on it. This would indicate that the site you're visiting has an OV or UV certificate, which is virtually impossible to replicate belonging to My Ether Wallet. Although most websites just have the word secure next to the green lock, which is indicative. A domain validation DV, certificate, my Ether wallet and other financial application developers take this a step further and get organizational OV or extended validation F certificates, which prove that a vetted organization is currently in charge of the domain.